Welcome to Cerny Yacht Design's Introduction to Foam Core Boat Building. It's our goal with this video to give you an overall understanding of the build of building a boat with foam core. Using the methods that we specify in our plans, foam core boat building will prove to be one of the easiest methods of constructing a non-developable hull, or simply one that can't be built by plywood. It can be as simple as you want, requiring only simple hand tools like a screw gun, razor knife, jigsaw, and sander, or you can take it a step further by using a small vacuum bag system to improve quality and finish. Either way, we are here to help you with a wide range of products, including our detailed plans and step-by-step -step construction outline, a build book, and how-to videos on subjects like fiberglassing and vacuum bagging. Okay, let's get started. Here we are tracing our full-size patterns onto a half-inch MDF to create our molds. After we've cut out all of our molds, we align them on a strong back, uh, lining them up carefully before we add our rib bands. Uh, the rib bands then will support the planking, which we've started here. Uh, we'll talk more about planking on the second half of the hall later in the video. But here we've continued planking, holding them temporarily with screws. And here is the whole half hall. Uh, cleaned up before covering in a layer of fiberglass before adding the bulkheads. One of the great things about foam is how easy it is to work with. Um, as you can see here, this is a bulkhead. We just uh, used two pieces, edge glued together, and it says it's getting covered with fiberglass. There's no, there's, uh, and it's just the core. You don't have to worry about uh, scarfs or, or, or finger joints or anything uh, when joining panels together. So here's our bulkhead uh, with traced out onto the foam blank uh, with the, the necessary lines, the design water line, the, the center line to help us uh, install the bulkhead in the hall later on. And here we are now cutting out the, the bulkhead with a simple razor knife. Uh, we cut it a little bit large because after it gets fiberglass, we'll trim it uh, while we're fitting it to the hull. Then wet out the foam, just like you do with any other material using epoxy. It needs to be wet out thoroughly. So usually with this foam, uh, the closed cell foam, it takes two coats of clear epoxy to, to get it properly wet out before applying the fiberglass. And then the fiberglass goes on, it's uh, you know, pre-cut, uh, traced large over the, over the foam, so it'll be trimmed, uh, trimmed later when fitting to the hull. Then continuing, we just wet out, pushing the epoxy down through the fiberglass making sure that it's uh, well saturated and there's no dry spots. Using the spatula to, to push uh, extra epoxy around and to clean off the excess. And there's our final bulkhead. There's our product before being fit to the hull. Uh, as you see here with uh, the transom and uh, the other bulkhead up in the bow. At this point, we remove the hull and bulkheads from the strong back setup. Uh, to get ready to build the second half of the hull. To the second half, we take off uh, the rib bands and the molds from the strong back, and we reverse each mold exactly 180 degrees. Uh, we put them back down, align them before putting the rib bands back down. Here we've started planking uh, right in the middle, just like we did on the first, adding planks on either side until we have uh, most of the hull planked. Planking is, is really quite simple. Uh, cutting each plank with a razor knife, we put a bevel on either side of the plank as we fit each one to, it, to its neighbor, marking where to trim them. You'll find that uh, most planks fit in nice and tight to each other. Uh, every two or three planks we need to kind of, kind of spile to get it uh, to get the to fit closely with its neighbor.
after you've cut it to shape and have to put the plank, you can clamp it down with a clamp or two. And uh, then we put screws through the back of the ribbands into the plank to temporarily hold it in place. For the turn of the bilge, uh, we found that it takes a little bit more than just a, a screw through the backside. So we have a block of wood with a screw in it to help support it so the, the plank doesn't snap uh, at that point. Here we've put a couple planks in place trimming them to the to the molds before getting ready to glue them all together. For gluing the planks, we mix up a batch of thickened epoxy and we put it into a, a Ziploc bag, a pastry bag, whatever works. And we slowly push the epoxy grout into the gap created by the, the bevels. Any excess we'll clean up with a putty knife, put it back into a, a ba into the bag and, and continue to use it until we've exhausted all the, the thickened epoxy that we've made up. Here's the hull, all glued up, cleaned up before getting its layer of fiberglass, just like the first hull. And here's the two hulls put together. Uh, the bulkheads are tabbed together all is glued together before removing it from the molds and uh, then we continue with the build. Fiberglass the outside, continue with the interior, etc. So I hope you've enjoyed their video and learned a little bit more about foam core boat building. If you have any questions please uh, feel free to give us a call or send us an email.